Hello everyone, and I just started a new Minecraft world. It's a creative world. That way I'll be building and I'll find a good spot to call my base and I'll be making amazing builds. So let's start. So let's get out of this ravine or something and go up, see if we, oh. I'm always fun next to villages. Anyways, this is Acacia biome, so I think this village is rather rich. Let's see. Even though I'm not in survival, I love raiding these villages, especially when they're Acacia villages. Okay, let's try going up and nothing as always. Even though once I found a chest. Oh, okay, so let's go. Let's go into this house. Ooh, a chest. Bread and armor. But I'll put away this random seed. Okay, so let's get going on finding a perfect place to call home. And to call our building sanctuary. And I think we should move by sea. But I don't want to miss any ruins, so I'm going to, well, first I need a netherite sword that I so foolishly dropped into the ocean. Bravo. Bravo. Where did I drop it? Is it far or? It's gone, so I'll just get another one. I am in creative after all. There and a pickaxe just to make things a lot quicker. Now an elytra for sure. And my vision potion that way I can see what's underground. A spyglass, a brush. Oh, and for the elytra we need rockets. Not you rockets. I'll get a purple Okay, so now we can potion we can see a... now i see my sword uh, well we have another one no no oh, i always am bad at these i'm gonna go a lot higher there we go Okay, I think we're just gonna fly it from now. Wait, is that a trail ruin? Is that a ruin? No. I keep thinking these gravel and sand. I keep thinking these gravel and sand biomes are like these random always appearing ruins. Perfect biome. I think this is good. I, I, I really think this is a good one. Let's find a good place here to go. Mm. I think this is like a good area. Now, first, our first build, I don't know, but maybe. I should start planting stuff. I want to make this a cherry biome. Because I like cherry trees. I like them more. Yeah. I think they're one of the best trees that my grandpa has ever done. But also because it gives you pink wood. And I love using pink wood in my woods. But also because it's so much cooler finding that than just living in the um, now, I think I'll add one more, or maybe another right here, because these chickens keep, these chickens keep following me, and now I can cross the track. Oh. Okay. Now, as 
I prefer starting at sunrise. I can start at sunrise. Okay, now we can get I think I'm only holding the sword for now because who really needs anything other than the sword? Okay. Now I'm thinking using stripped wood. I want to make um like warped or crimson. I don't know. I think warped is a lot cooler. So let's get the same thing in planks. Okay. I think I'll go with like the village. You know how in the villages there are there's this cool little house that is kind of like this. Like this. And inside is some wood or cobblestone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna load that design. But I'm gonna make it a bit differently. You see, I'm just gonna use this for the design. I'm gonna make an underground base. Now you ask me how I do that. Well, it's simple. I'm gonna get some some stone right here. Stone. Use you later. And make kind of a hill inside this hill like beside it i'm gonna make a kind of half and i'm just gonna make the, um, the secret entrance here i'm gonna make it very nice like that like this sort of wall later we're gonna start with the fading in stuff it's really just to keep the button in the mood and then you're asking what button well i'm gonna hide a stone button there see you can barely see it if you go here you can see it here you can see it but if you are coming up front you can barely like if you're like this you cannot see it at all <clears throat> so it'll be there and i think i'm going to connect it here at the back with some redstone because i'm getting quite good with redstone redstone there we go this button will be connected with redstone uh, to an under well okay let's see how it looks like this you cannot see the redstone which is good and i think we'll go over it okay great now now we need to make a secret passage well not a secret passage but we need a sticky piston now i'm just gonna make the entrance and i'm not really gonna make the house yet just the entrance and it's all um, it's already getting a little bit late oh my goodness we're using up so much daylight and why? Okay. Yeah. So I just need to put this there. Now, when I press the button, it's going to go out. When I press the button. Yeah, now it went out. But the problem is, we want it to be in. So I think we're just going to use a lever and keep up and keep away that. Now it's secret. It's going to be less pretty now. It's going to do. So, there. I think we're going to have to move it one, one back. Like, that with the redstone there, and this back. There we go. Oh. Now we get stone. Yeah, stone's here. Stone, and there. Then we cover this whole thing. Then we cover this whole thing up with stone. And we remove any excess, like this red stone that got out of my hand. Cover everything except 
that, and so that way no force of creepers are going to come in. Okay, now, time to see if this will work. I need to like that. I think I heard something, which means, yes, it works. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this first time of making a secret entrance, and I hope you see my next video. Okay!